Hello! Uh, welcome! We received your message. I can't say they understand everything yet, but I actually thought the visuals were really helpful. Um, the date. The Earth date is March 9, 2020. Which means nothing to you. Okay, let me see. So, if you're right, think you are. You've got an orbital period of about 36 days, which is 10 times shorter than ours. Wow. Okay, so our year is 365 Earth days and yours is 36, which in your days is... You don't even have days. You're so close to your sun, you've got to be tidally locked. You're not rotating. Okay, so uh, our whole planet spins, just constantly spins. Sometimes we see the sun, sometimes we see the stars. Our whole sky changes all the time. It kind of makes a big impression on us. Oh my god, you don't have days. How do you even measure time? Okay. I'm from Glisa 832C. I don't have days. <laughs> There's this excitable two armed, two eyed then waving at me. And somehow, maybe by some miracle, I'm figuring out what all these words mean that she's saying. What do I want to know? Lisa 832C, you are not alone. There is someone else out here. We kind of talk a lot, and we live in a strange place where the sky's always changing, and we've got all kinds of things stuff going on, and it's going to take a lot of explaining. But we are here. We got your message. You are not alone. You are not alone. <laughs> I'm sending. <laughs> Hello, Glisa 832C. Greetings from Earth. Um, I seem to have sent you something last night, which, well, first, allow me to apologise on behalf of the people of Earth. I was very pleased to receive your message, and sometimes when a human is pleased, they will well, they'll celebrate a little too hard. And sometimes that means sending an embarrassing, soggy text to your ex-boyfriend. And sometimes that means accidentally sending humanity's first message to a known civilization without any okay from anyone, which would be highly illegal if it was something we even knew to write laws about. Um... Anyway, um, we, the people of Earth, have received your message. We come in peace, and yes, we would super love to talk to you. Okay, well, looking forward to it. Bye now. Oh, uh, also, I should let you know that these messages are going to take 16 Earth years to get to you. That's 160 of your years. And I'm only around for 60 to 70 more years tops, if I'm lucky. So, you know, if we're quick, we can squeeze in one, maybe two back and forths ever. So just saying, don't dawdle on the replies. <laughs> okay. Um, hey, in Glisa 832C time, I'm over uh, like 250. <laughs> okay, um, bye. Hi Glissa 832C, back again. Just thought it might help if I sent over some data to help you translate everything I'm saying. I'm working on figuring out that squawky thing you do. Very cute, also slightly terrifying, but I'm sure you're a lot smarter than me and you'll figure me out lickety split. Right, okay, last one. Take care now. Also, sorry to keep calling you Glissa 832C. I guarantee you'll get a more proper name after all this. Maybe you'll even be named after me, Planet Ashley Stevens. Hmm. Not really the same ring as Mars. Anyway, you can call us whatever you want. Bye now. Also, I should say, we're kind of going through something here. Don't get grossed out, but it's a disease thing. It's all over the planet right now. Long story short, there's only one lab on Earth that can receive your messages. And at least for now, I'm the only one using it. So right now, I'm the only one that knows about you. I just... I don't know how people are going to react, and everyone's a little preoccupied at the moment anyway, so for now, it's just you and me, okay?
Ta now. Hi Glee Say 32C. I've decided to call you Planet Glee. Long time no see. The whole disease situation is improving around here, which is great, but it also makes it harder to hack into the high energy X-ray transmitter. On the plus side though, I think I've made some progress deciphering your language. I'm glad to hear you hope for a harmless and productive interaction with another world. And may I say a very harmless and productive yeah. I hope that was right. Sorry about the accent. Also, I really hope I didn't say anything offensive there. Please don't get the wrong idea and destroy Earth. We really love you here. Or at least I do. Okay, bye. Looking forward to hearing back in like 30 years or so. One more thing. I'm sure that you know this with the timing and all, but if you've sent another message since the first, I haven't got it yet. So anything I've said is in response to the first message and not anything you've sent since. I'll be like 57 when I get your reply. <laughs> That's 570 Planet Glee years. Okay. I'll shut up for the next 30 years until you reply. For real this time. Okay. Bye. Hi Planet Glee. Still haven't heard from you, which makes a lot of sense given you won't have got my messages yet. God, space sucks. I know I'm not supposed to be talking to you, but <laughs> I wasn't meant to do any of this, so fuck it. I've had a hard day. I'm not going to explain human mating customs to you, you don't want to know. But let's just say I'm going to be a very lonely human for a while. <sighs> I know you won't get this for like 16 years, but I don't know, just reply to the first one as soon as you can. You're kind of all I've got right now. I just need to know you heard me. Even if we only have time for one message in my whole life, I'd rather die tomorrow than live a hundred years without knowing you. Sweet dreams, Planet Glee. I love your long eye stalks and your cute little blobby bodies. Cow! Just sending off one last message. Things are getting a bit crazy down here. Send your replies, please, please send your replies, but you might want to wait before trying to get here. If you get this, I made it to the lab before they shut it down. But I just want you to know that there is at least one being on this planet who loves you and your whole world utterly and unconditionally. Okay, two You have to, hi, Planet Glee, I need you to come here. Send me your coordinates, everything you need. I was wrong. We absolutely do not come in peace. Humans are evil. We destroy everything we touch. We kill each other over and over and over. And who suffers for it? All the fucking innocent things on this planet. The horses and the kangaroos and the puppies. The sweet puppies who did nothing wrong. Nothing to do with any of these sick and dying and burning because they got in the way of us killing each other. <sighs> Fucking John, get down here. I don't care if it takes 200 years. Get down here and wipe this planet clean. The puppies, leave them. But humans, fucking humans, burn us to the ground. You remember how sometimes humans celebrate too hard and do stupid things? So things aren't going great down here. <laughs> Don't worry about it. I guess by the time you get this, it'll be long past and onto something new. Have you? No. I won't even get my first message for another five years. You're so close, you know, in the big scheme of things, but so, so far away. I don't even know if there'll be someone to get your message next time. But I was here. I heard you. We weren't all bad, I promise, despite appearances. Hi Planet Glee, I think you might actually have gotten my first message by now. So I realise that since your planet doesn't spin, you don't get to have sunsets. Thought you'd get a kick out of this. Tiny sun compared to yours really puts on a show though. Things are a little better down here, some good, some bad. That's us in a nutshell. Some good, some bad. I'll send this when I can. The high energy x-ray transmitter I was using isn't there anymore, but I'll figure something out. 
and I can still receive. Keep sending messages. If you're quick, I'll hear from you in 16 years. All love and kang from your old friend here on planet Earth. So I screwed up. I told someone about you. Turns out there's a good reason for peer review because sometimes we make mistakes. <laughs> Apparently that signal isn't from Glissade 3-2-C after all. I was picking up a garbled transmission from an 80s TV show. Embarrassing, right? Such is life. I wasn't going to send again. I didn't for quite some time. It's not exactly easy, let me tell you. Still, I know there's a planet Glee out there. I know it. Just a little further than I thought. Maybe you won't get this for a hundred years or two hundred or a thousand. I know you're out there. Straight in that direction, just past Lisa A32C. I wanted to let you know. No need to reply. Clinically. I won't get it. It's enough to know you heard me. And I do. I know.